Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0335 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0335 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor A circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. And it's seen an error with this, so it had to be troubleshooted to know why. And so some of the possible causes could be a faulty crankshaft position sensor. It could be in the harness or in the wiring. It could be an open or a short. And in some rare cases, the starter motor might be bad, or and if you have a dead or weak battery. But if that's happening, then the car is not going to turn over at all. But keep in mind that you, you need voltage to go to this circuit. And so the crankshaft position sensor is going to be located down by the crank somewhere. And Toyota placed them kind of differently depending on the engine and the year. But they'll be down by the crank somewhere. And in some cases, there can't even be two. Although there's usually one, there can be two in some cases. You always want to get the diagrams for your vehicle, the schematics and things like this to know for sure what's going on. But quite commonly, they're down by the crankshaft. And in many cases, you have to remove the tire to get to them. Although sometimes you can't get to them from the top also. And so the first thing to do is going to be to locate where that crankshaft position sensor is on your particular Toyota. And after you locate it, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check out this whole wiring harness that goes to it. And you're going to want to make sure that there's no open shorts, anything like this. And basically you're going to want to make sure that there's no problems inside of the wiring or anything like this. And what a lot of people do is they'll go ahead and swap out the sensor and then they'll check out the wiring if it doesn't work and then they'll see if it's in the wiring. But the wiring is not too difficult to check once you understand some basic things about it. And basically what's going on with this wiring is in older Toyotas, they'd have two wires going to it. And in newer ones, sometimes they could even have four. But by far the most common is three wires. You have to get schematics for your particular engine and year to know exactly what's going on. But what's going on with these three wires is the middle one will be ground. One of the outer ones will be constant voltage, which is coming from the battery. It could be 5 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, whatever it is. But it'll just be power to power on the circuit. And then the other one is going back to the onboard computer and every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor, it'll send a 5 volt signal back to the onboard computer. And so what many techs will do is they'll take a known good sensor, they'll take this harness off, they'll put it on, and then they'll come from the back, they'll go from the middle ground wire to the return signal wire to the computer, and then they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor, and if it changes, it goes from 0 to 5 volts, they'll know the whole circuit's good. And so there's some videos on that if you want to watch that, but that's just a quick way to know if the whole circuit's working or not, or if there's a problem there. And one thing to mention is that if you're not getting no voltage to this pin, so if you're going from the middle wire, to one of the outer pin and you're not getting no voltage when the key is in the on position and there's no power going here then very likely there's a blowing fuse or an open in the wire but blowing fuse is a common problem and the fuse is usually located inside the engine compartment although it can be up underneath the dash sometimes it's usually inside the engine compartment it'll be labeled like em2 or sns again you'll have to google it for your particular toyota but if you're not getting no voltage to the harness then check for a blowing fuse so if the wiring looks good and everything like that then it will be definitely time to change out the sensor and I'll jump over on Amazon give you an idea how much the sensors cost right now they're ranging around 20 30 dollars or so they're not high-end high-cost parts or nothing so like I said most people would just go and swap them out although you can test them and and see if they're good before you swap them out if you wanted to do that too and so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0335 code well first thing to do Google where the crankshaft position sensor is located on your particular Toyota since there can't be some differences but you want to locate it check out the wiring be sure the wiring's good be sure there's no open shorts or anything like this if it's not getting no power then check for a blowing fuse because very likely it has a blowing fuse it could be an open in the wire also but blowing fuse is a common problem when there's no voltage to it the wiring all looks good and there's no blowing fuse then replace the sensor and that usually will solve the problem so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick basic overview of how you go about fixing a toyota with the p0335 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day